What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another weekly roundup. It's another Thursday, lads. We will be live streaming later. So if you want to catch that, make sure and be subscribed for notifications when I go live. Now, this is another week of kind of, I will say it's a mixture of new stuff, uh, depending on how you see content and cards and also a rehash of some other stuff. So we'll just go through this very quickly, right? We've no uh, authentic matches or events or anything like that. The eFootball Festival is ending this time next week. So there's one more week of it. Um, and you can see here that the last couple of login bonuses and stuff like that will be there. The campaign objectives, they're in the final run now as well. So within Dream Team here itself, in the actual events, we do have a new event here, which is the English League. That's just your free player of the week spin, which are Encore Stars. Uh, we will get to in a, in a second. You also have the National Teams one that is continuing on. You have the North and Central America one with all the prizes there. And then the Starter Cup and the North and Central America against the users is still ongoing as well. We do have a new legend uh, challenge as well that you see here. So this legend challenge is actually going to be against Manchester City. Um, so they seem to be everywhere at the moment now. Um, and then you've got your Encore Stars there as well. So two events that you can play against the AI will give you two free spins. You've also got an English League user match. This is for the 50 eFootball coins and the National Team eFootball, which is for the 50 coins as well. They're both ending three days for the National Team and six days for, six days for the English League. So these are two new ones. And then you also have the English League one here that is new. So you can get your two free spins on the Player of the Week and you can get another 50 coins with that event everything else is the same right i'm not even going to waste any time there everything is the same right so the differences in stuff this week is um the fact that they are giving you some um we've already claimed those they're giving you some free legends and free epics and free showtime cards uh well whatever you want to call messi he's a special login present right so this Messi here that you see is going to be in your inbox. We're just going to claim him here as you see. Um, we do have him here and we're going to boom, get him in and we're going to see what he's like. Um, look, uh, I mean, I think they should be releasing cards like this a little more frequently, but that the cards take longer to train up. I think they're really kind of struggling with you can max out a player's training level very, very quickly. There's no grind to getting the players. Um, now, this is nice to see Messi, obviously, on the card uh, in his Inter Milan, Inter Miami jersey, uh, which is quite nice. It's not the worst card either. I mean, obviously, he's the, he's current day Messi. So he does have a wavering form. He does have a load of uh, brilliant player skills. Um, but again, that's going to be dependent on how you train him up. He goes to 20 levels. So that is going to be Messi, a new journey card is what they're calling it. We will do a full review on him. But to be honest with you, he's probably just going to be pretty much the same as every uh, other Messi card that's out there, right? We will have a look in the database later about him um, and see, you know, how he stacks up. But uh, there is there is a nice campaign that you can do there with him as well, which is which is quite decent. Now, on to the cards, right? We'll just go through these very, very quickly, right? Because they have added a lot of new cards. What they seem to be doing now is they seem to be adding Showtime cards um, and then, you know, Epics. And then they seem to be adding, obviously, the Player of the Week, and one more selection as well. So the J League MVPs is there. That's going to be a bit of a, a mismatch. They also have these Encore Stars, which are re-released Player of the Week versions of the cards. And this Pedri is insane. So they're going through the month. So we've gone from December, January. Now we're back into February, uh, from February 2023, earlier in the year. And you've got a mix of them. So these are from February 23. Um, where they release these and then this pack the encore pack 2 is going to be from the next week after that so you can see there that Mbappe uh gold poacher Mbappe is from the 23rd of Feb right so yeah look if you missed out on one of these I would definitely say lads I would say that uh, Rafael Leao is a fantastic card Casemiro Son Foden this Foden is an absolute beast as a whole player He's a fantastic card. Uh, Ward Pros is good. Canalis is good. The rest of the players, I think, are pretty average compared to what's out there at the moment. So if you do spin, I would definitely be trying to get Leao, Mbappe, um, or the other players that I mentioned there. And then on this one, I mean, Pedri is where you want to go, lads. If you can get this Pedri, trust me, he's top five cards in the game. That's all I'm going to say about him. He is absolutely insane as a whole player, okay? Like, he's just so good. Um, and then, obviously, with the English League, we've got Showtime Salah, we've got Showtime Ruben Diaz, and we've got Showtime time Odegaard with game change and pass right so Odegaard is the only player with that special showtime pass uh, uh player skill passing 
player skill unwavering form really really good card if you are an Arsenal fan you know you're going to get the dribbling type possession low pass everything up into the 90 zone again it depends on how you play him I mean if you don't shoot a lot um, you're probably going to want to pass this guy you know with so many passing skills that he has there and the game changing pass I personally don't think it's going to be a, a massive card but Ruben Diaz lads this guy looks insane 29 levels to go and this is what I'm talking about when you've got cards like this these are kind of real showtime cards right cards that can go those levels um that you can just kind of train up extremely well you know and especially the fact that he's got 29 levels to go right you will be able to get his defense up extremely good um from that i mean if you pop 10 levels into that right if you pop 10 levels into him you're going to have 95 defensive awareness 93 tackling and 94 aggression with 89 defensive engagement it's not the best card that they've released him, but the fact that he's got 29 levels means that you will be able to pop in, you know, maybe 14, um, you know, 14 points into that, 13 points into that. And you're going to have pretty much all his defensive stats like in the, in the, in the high 90s. And with the player form boots, when you get him, it could be potentially one of the best cards that they've ever released. He also does not have blocker. So you are going to need to give him that. That's one thing that you will need to give him as an additional skill. I would also give him one touch pass um, because he's able to get himself out of difficulty with that. But yeah, blocker is a definite. Um, he doesn't have acrobatic clearance either. So I would give him blocker and acrobatic clearance. And if you can get those two defensive cards on him, the player skills on him, this will be, in my opinion, the best uh, center back that they have released. Uh, in a long, long time and will definitely compete with legends, you know, um, because you're still going to be able to get the acceleration and speed up and the physical contact jumping and heading is going to be uh, insane as well. And it's a similar situation with Salah, lads. I mean, they've really left the best to last. I thought that they would do player of the seasons for the English leagues and stuff and La Liga and stuff. Uh, maybe they're not going to do that. You know, maybe they'll do it at the start of eFootball 24 or maybe they want to keep the cards kind of contained a little bit to what they're doing at the moment right now you know that me and Salah never really got on if you watch the watch the channel regularly you'll know that as a Liverpool fan I've never really given him a fair crack lads I'll be honest I might play him today in my live stream if I do have a card of him um but insane stats like you're gonna have here when you train him up like you're gonna have the dribbling stats and the attacking stats you're gonna have balance speed acceleration finishing ball control dribbling and offensive awareness all in the 90 zone with them 28 levels to go so I don't need to say much more about this card. Double touch, uh, chip shot control, long range curler, pop on one touch pass on him as well. Um, and, you know, maybe dip and shot or something like that. An insane card, right? Like just a brilliant card. I've already done a review on the English league players, Lampard, Scholes and Parchi Sung. Scholes and Lampard, insane attacking midfielders if you're able to shoot. Parchi Sung is a well-oiled well all-rounder. And then I've already covered the rest of them, right? There's nothing in the eFootball shop here. There's no packs available yet. That will probably come um, when the game is launched. A new update is coming. Now, we do have new objectives for Messi here. So it's just, you know, use the Lionel Messi that you get and win this tour event and then feature Lionel Messi and win the challenge events in Dream Team. And when you do that, you will get your rewards there the eFootball festival is still ongoing as well so if you haven't cleared that fully you can do so with completing the rest of the objectives and you get your second spin at a legend this is my other account so i need to do that and then also on top of that we do have a little look at the shop here um where with the eFootball points there is nothing added to the shop i think that they will add some stuff soon but they'll probably wait until all of them go out of, out of uh, date right and in the strips there's nothing there either so that is it for a quick weekly roundup lads hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and we'll be back soon peace